All right, gang. Well, something I've wanted to do for a long time is bring back the Healthy Camp Cook series. Um, I've had a lot of requests from one particular segment of the dieting community, um, or at least one side, I guess, um, the paleo community. Um, just let me kind of give a, uh, a disclaimer. I'm modified paleo. Um, if you're truly paleo, you're hardcore. Um, I can't do it um, for financial reasons for the most part. I'd love to stick straight with the diet, but I have to, I've had to kind of forge my own path. Uh, I don't stray too terribly far from it, but um, just a little bit. So you're going to see some things in this video that if you're truly paleo, you're going to go, hey, wait, that's not paleo. It's close, but no, it's not. Um, but it it, uh, it follows in line with a lot of the ideology and, and theory, whatever, what have you, with the paleo ideology. So anyway, let's get a fire started. I'm running out of light, so um, let's see if I can't get this done and let you guys see what I'm doing. Whoops. A little violent there stepping off. All right, gang, well, as you can see, I already have spinach down the bottom. Uh, what you can't see, you might be able to hear sloshing around in there. I have uh, some liquid smoke and some minced garlic rolling around back down in there. Um, this meal, in fact, I would really call this more of an appetizer than a meal, but I will take this out if I'm just on a short jaunt and in the mood just to cook a little bit, I guess. Um, this is my favorite cold weather meal. Um, so all it is basically is root vegetable stew I guess that'd about be what you call it it does have meat in it it does have celery which is not a root vegetable um, but it's the lesser carb veggies um, there's no white potato or anything like that However, what you will find uh, where'd it go? I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here. This goes in at the beginning. Like I said, it does have protein in it. This is just dehydrated London broil. But when I say dehydrated, I mean like all the way. Most people dehydrate their stuff for you know 12, 18 hours, something like that. This is dehydrated for I'm going to guess in the neighborhood of 36 hours, so there's like zero moisture in here. It is um, almost air pockety. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, it's still tasty, but it's not at all the consistency of jerky you're used to. But the rest of the ingredients are, and I'm not going to do all this on camera, so don't run out. There's radishes, cut fairly thick. Hey girlies, how you doing? Hey. Trying to sneak up on me? Anyway, so radishes, I'll finish the rest of those later. But also, have onion. Which, I don't use a whole onion in this. This is just what I had handy. Honestly, I forego the formality of fine slices because it steams down. Anyway, I use about a half an onion, something like that. So it all goes by eyeball. And then the last thing, as far as a vegetable goes, is a turnip. And this is the majority of the ingredient right here. Alright, and then I just chunk this up in there. Let 
Now again, I don't go too thin because I still like there to be texture. And the last two ingredients, some sort of Cajun seasoning as opposed to salt. And then a hair of apple cider vinegar. Probably somewhere in the neighborhood of three tablespoons. Add a bit of water, maybe about an inch to the bottom, something like that. The goal is to steam this because they'll shrink and add their own water to the mix. Alright guys, just an ingredient recap wall, you can still see me. Uh, right now you have the glow of the fire to help help my camera, which really stinks at night. So anyway, uh, we have uh, minced garlic, we have liquid smoke, water in the bottom of the, the pot, pan, whatever, to start with. Then we have spinach, celery, radishes, turnips, onions, um, and some dehydrated beef of some kind. I mean, any kind of protein would work. It's even good without protein, I've used it that way many times before. Um, I like this meal. Um, it ha also has apple cider vinegar in it, just to kind of give it a pickly flavor. If I make it for my family, I do add a bit of brown sugar to it, but personally I prefer it without. Um, but one of the, the cool things about this is on a cold day, which it's pretty chilly today, um, even though I'm burning up right now because I'm about six inches away from a fire, but uh, uh, it, it's, it's a warming meal. It sticks to you for a while, but it's not overfilling so you don't get tired. Um, but what? throws this over the top. Here's my secret ingredient, which a lot of you guys probably aren't going to appreciate, is this. I did a review a while back of Porcus Infernum from Voodoo Chilies and Sauces. This is another product they put out. It's um, called Scorpion Venom Abandon. This is their souped up model of Scorpion Venom. This stuff rolls in about 3.75 million scovels. Um, it basically all it is, it's a tincture of Trinidad scorpion pepper and then they add pure capsicum to it just to kind of bump the heat level up a little bit. When this is done and starts to cool down a little bit because the heat will, the heat, the actual temperature heat will kill the scoville heat um, somewhat. I let it cool down a little bit, add a few drops of this and on a very cold day this will bump your heat level up quite a bit and it is pretty darn tasty at least in my opinion. That's pretty much the consistency I'm looking for. Soft, but still a little bit firm. And as you can see, you know, we only put, or I only put, like you're here, uh, you know, somewhere around a half a cup, I guess. I, it's just eyeballed to you have about an inch or so of liquid on the bottom after you have your veggies in there. And here is my old secret ingredient. And there is, if my eyeballs worked right, correctly, about six drops. Ah, yes, and you can smell that Trinidad, Trinidad scorpion. It smells yummy. Between that and the pickling liquid, Oh man. Alright, that needs to cool down because there's no way my mouth can handle that kind of heat uh, temperature wise. So, alright, see you in a few. Alright guys, well you've seen what it looks like after it cooks. It's still too hot for my taste, but I'm running out of light. So pardon me while I blow on my dinner. Well, actually maybe not. Is that brown? That's spinach, buddy. And it is yummy. It's not hot. Between the, the Cajun spices, the apple cider vinegar, and uh, the heat from the uh, scorpion venom, this stuff will fill you up and it will keep you warm. I love it. The 
Potatoes are yummy. These are turnips, bud. Mm. Those are alike. They look like potatoes, don't they? They like, they're, they, they say, mm -hmm. they say they're marshmallows. <laughs> they're marshmallows, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Probably not. Well, guys, how this re relates to paleo, these veggies are low carb, or they're low on the glycemic index. Uh, they'll still give you carbs. I mean, even if you're paleo, you still need a certain amount of carbs. Uh, paleo, in short, is you get your, your carbs from um, green leafy veggies, um, you know, complex carbohydrates, not the, you know, starchy carbohydrates. Um, and this has enough uh, of the dehydrated beef in it. It gives you your protein hit. And it also gives you your carb hit, keep you going. It sticks with you. It is super yum, at least in my opinion. I love all the veggies in there. I love the beef better, <laughs> but still, anyway, it's super yummy. I, I, um, I hope you guys try it and let me know what you think. But anyway, that's it for this one because I know you can't see me very well because I can't see myself very well in this, uh, uh, in this camera. So anyway, guys, have a good one, and I'll see you next time.